Sometimes the best way to see Manhattan is from a distance. Brooklyn's River Cafe offered fine dining and a spectacular view. But last year, Sandy flooded the River Cafe. After 14 months of work, it is finally ready to reopen. Just don't expect its owner to rethink his ways. I grew up tying up boats during storms and hurricanes. It was just another storm. Just another storm. Just another storm, although it was a hell of a storm. A hell of a storm. The night Sandy ripped up the East Coast, Buzzy O'Keefe lost much of his life's work. The River Cafe, a New York City treasure that floats under the Brooklyn Bridge and looks out on Lower Manhattan's skyline. What was left behind was barely recognizable. It was almost wiped out entirely, if not for O'Keefe's last minute call. I told the guys, if it gets any worse and the things start to rock and roll, um, open the doors, let the river blow through, keep it from moving. And it did. It did. It came up to just below the mirrors over here, top of the banquettes. For well over a year, O'Keefe has been rebuilding and making sure the whole operation is hurricane proof. In his new showcase kitchen, all the walls will be lined with closed cell waterproof foam. The electrical wiring has been moved overhead. O'Keefe says he takes every city building code and tries to double it. If they want a two inch beam, we give them a four inch beam. If they want, you know, a foot above the water, we give them two feet above the water. It's an extensive and expensive task, but spending money has never been a problem at the River Cafe. Since its doors first opened in 1977, the restaurant has had a diehard reputation in the culinary world. Simple, fresh, seasoned. You know, it's just nice like that. Sweet. And that is, uh, that's fantastic. A natural, that's a natural corn, you know? Quality and then we'll always just take comes these guys. first. Well, these are gambas from Spain. Yeah. Everything in here is the best. If you want to have a great hard cheese, you have to get the best Reggiano Parmigiana. If you want to get the best wines, you have to go to certain vineyards and some will be in California but many will be France and Spain and Italy and other places. Could we make more money selling hot dogs and beer? Probably. Probably. We don't sell hot dogs and beer. We don't sell inferior products. That stubborn philosophy is why O'Keefe says he doesn't buy many of the current trends sweeping the restaurant industry like local or foraged food. I'm not into going out to the woods and getting bark and mushrooms and making dinner out of it. A lot of this comes up on the young people always wanting to discover something new. You know, if there was a new frog, they'd be all over the new frog, you know. We forage in a different way. We try to find the people who produce the best eggs, the best chicken, the best butter. So you're seen as, as a traditionalist. Well, yes, yeah, so we're much, I, I, I think uh, society is becoming rude, you know. Rude, very rude. So we have a jacket policy. I've had a gum policy for years. I'm Coming glad I took it out before I got okay. here. <laughs> Why is that jacket so important for you? It's just a, it's a sign of respect <clears throat> when you're going out. We're trying to hold the line to manners. It's, it's a very, uh, manners is a very nice thing. That's why for O'Keefe, the River Cafe is more than a restaurant. It's a reminder that even when starting over from scratch, some things should never change. The cafe begins taking reservations tomorrow and plans to be up and running in 2014. I tell you, just spending a little bit of time with Buzzy, I mean, it's not just the food you learn about in the restaurant. It's, I mean, it's, it's the carvings on the back of a chair. It's the way he builds the floor. Every single thing for him has to be the best. I like the old school approach. Can I just ask, did you get a reservation? Can you get in? <laughs> I have not yet, no. <laughs> did eat a little bit of food there, but have to go back. Looks delicious. Yeah.